Yeah. Uh. Lions on the prowl. Lions on the prowl. Always putting weight. Always going wild. Lions on the prowl. Lions on the prowl. Yeah. Always putting weight. Uh. Always going wild. Best quarterbacks you ever heard. Get up, Matthew Stafford. Golden Tate, Marvin Jones. They gon' get it in the zone. No matter how they try to fan. Darius Slay gon' get it in. That Patricia Ball Quinn. Making sure our players win. Got a dangerous offensive. They always Bring the pain. Talking about that Ricky Wagner. Can't forget about TJ Lane. Detroit Lions got it locked. Tim and Jim gon' let you know. This the Lions on the prowl. Come on, time to start the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number 28 of Lions on the Prowl. My name's Jim. Hello, my name is Maniac Tim, and it's hard to believe it's been episode. 28 episodes already. 28 episodes already, and uh, really appreciate you guys that listen. We have 106,000 downloads right now. Uh, very appreciative, helping make this show a success. Um, very humbled by that. Yeah. I'm very humbled by people that uh, actually listen and, and, mm-hmm. and get something out of this show. Right. We want people to be able to be in, informed and kind of entertained, yeah. sort of, and, <laughs> and those things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of which, the show this week is brought to you by the Jim Bob Cooter Combo. Wow. And that consists of a fatty matty patty. Which is two pounds of USDA beef. And the golden taters. Oh, wow. <laughs> and for you adults. Yep. The Prater Pint. And for the kids. And the pint size ones. Mm-hmm. Prater Aid. <laughs> you can find this absolutely nowhere, nowhere. because we just made this yep. up. Anyway, we are looking for sponsors, and so I wanted to bring you a message about sponsorship for the show. Hey, Lions fans, do you own a business? Would you like to reach other Lions fans? Well, Lions on the Prowl is currently looking for new sponsors for the show. If you want to be a sponsor, you can contact us at lionsontheprowl14 at gmail.com. That's lionsontheprowl14 at gmail.com. Do it today. Yeah, that really helps the show. Um, currently, I'm depressed. Yeah. Do you know why? Because of the two losses? <sighs> no. <laughs> because we haven't had a 1 o'clock game in three games. <laughs> okay. So you're sleep deprived. Yes. Yep. Sleep deprived. Uh, it, that doesn't even yep. cover it at this mm-hmm. point. Um, yeah, bad couple of days, you right. know, whatever. But it, it, hopefully things will start getting better. Anyways... 8.30 game tonight. Yep. And I got to be up at 3 in the morning. We are doing the show before the game. Mm-hmm. At this point, Green Bay has already lost. Yep. Minnesota has already lost. Yep. And the Bears game is close. It was 14 right. to nothing. It's 14 to 10 as we're speaking right now. We'll see what that final becomes. Right. The game tonight now becomes a lot more important. Oh, yeah, it does. Because... The Lions could be not very far out of it. Right. it Green Bay being one one and one, mm-hmm. Minnesota being one one and one, yep. and the Bears, I don't know what they are. They would either be uh, two and one or one and two. Two and one or one and two. And if oh, we win, we would be tied one and two. And it would be one one and one. Oh jeez, don't do <laughs> it. I hate ties. Yeah, I, 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 I just want to put that out there. Yeah. I am so sick of ties mm-hmm. because I don't have. My partner Sam right. at work here to do the math for me, right. and that's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. Right now, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so, do you want to go to shout outs? Yes, yes, mm-hmm. please. Um, shout outs this week, Dan Savage. Thank you so much for being an admin in our group. Mm-hmm. We really appreciate the work you're doing for us and helping this show. Um, I work a lot. I got a lot of things going on personally and in home life and all this other stuff going on. So I really appreciate your help. And, uh, you know, he's just doing yeah. a really good job of, you know, being an admin, right. kicking and people out, blocking content, things that we really need mm-hmm. done. Right. Yep. And group that goes for growing. me too. I appreciate him too. Yeah. Group is growing yep. and we appreciate that. James Quick. Mm-hmm. Thank you for liking our posts and yep. so many different groups. Uh, really appreciate it. And you're helping with that 100,000 right. 100, yep. download total that we have now. So we appreciate you, too. Kevin Frentner, mm-hmm. friend of the show. Oh, yeah. Always will be. Um, we had him on for, to do the Roar yep. Zone, which I thought mm-hmm. was really, really cool. It's just been a scheduling conflict. There is nothing personal going on at all. True. Good friend of the show. He mm-hmm. helps us. He's an admin in our 
Lions on the Prowl group yep. at, on Facebook. You can join that group yep. if you would like and get all updates and news and all kinds of things going on. Yep. It's a good group to be in. Um, but and we of, really appreciate those people right now. And, of course, number one, these are all Lions fans, too. Oh, big so time. So they, <laughs> you know, they, they live and bleed Honolulu Blue. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. So, okay, and I want to give a shout-out to my partner at work, Sam. Puts up with me every day. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and Kim at work. Yep. I at work. Yes, yes. At work. And do you have any shout-outs this okay. week? Okay. Ross Myers at work. Long-time Lion fan. Michael Myers' brother. Just kidding. I <laughs> know. Uh, coming up on Halloween. <laughs> kidding, kidding. And Tim Reardon at work. Friend of the uh, show. Real, real good friend, real good Lions fan. Uh, I've known him for years. I mean, I'm sorry. I've been at, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> at my job for over, for almost 25 years now. See what so. sleep deprivation does to you. <laughs> just kidding. Just keep listening. <laughs> oh, Jim. I mean, Man, sometimes just, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. All right. I know. I get it. Yep. Okay. So any more shout outs? All right. right. I'm not going to give a shout out to my wife really? this week because she what goes, happened? when I'm walking out the door, she goes ahead and becomes a little smart butt and says, go Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, granted, she has a right to <laughs> no, be don't. her uh, her favorite team and stuff like that. <laughs> really? But really? Really? Just go ahead and get that last dig in, Gosh. even though the Patriots did lose last week. Yeah, and that makes and Tom it, Brady angry, so yeah. <laughs> it's not a good thing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's we did a not. recap show yeah. last week of San Francisco mm-hmm. and the Lions, and we yeah. also did a show recapping the Jets yeah. game, and we were pretty salty mm-hmm. after watching those games, had a right. week to think about it, so this could be a more um, upbeat show than it was right. last week. <laughs> I, I hope so. It was kind, <laughs> yeah. of, it was kind of a reactionary <laughs> <laughs> right show right after that i was mm-hmm. i was uh, it was 10 30 at night right. i was awfully tired yep and um yeah right so this leads me to another point okay if you would like to donate to help us to do this show full time so we can bring you extra coverage extra shows during the week um we could be at the lions games for you mm-hmm. try to get the players on just different things that we could do if we weren't having to work all the time yeah and i want to do this full time I know Tim wants to do it full time. And if you would like to make a donation towards that end, we have the Lions on the Prowl Facebook page, Mm -hmm. lionsontheprowl.com. And you can click the donate button at the top right hand corner of the screen. And that would really help the show. And uh, also coming out soon, we have um, Lions on the Prowl merchandise. We're Mm -hmm. in in talks right now, uh, getting the design phase done of the Lions on the Prowl t-shirts, and hopefully we'll have them in an online store, right. hoodies, t-shirts, all these things, uh, soon at lionsontheprowl.com. Yeah. We'll keep you updated on that progress. Right. Now, one of the main ways that you guys can help the show, though, is subscribe to it. Get your friends to listen. Uh, the more subscribers we get, the more over and over listeners we get, we can sell ads yeah, do that, you too, know. and have sponsors for the show. Yeah, like I said, we're looking for sponsors and everything. We don't want to sit here and look like we're begging for anything, but right. we really want, to, really want to bring you the best show we can possibly right. bring you, so that's what we're going to try to do. Okay, this week we have New England. Yeah, New England Patriots. Now, I think the Lions are going to break out this year, or this, this week. This year? This week. Well, I, you're right. I, they haven't done it yet. <laughs> I, I think they're going to break out. I think the offense is going to be click, clicking. Did they fire Jim Bob Cooter? Over no, there? they did not. Unfortunately, I'm or just saying, I, dude. I just think that they're gonna, we're gonna start seeing what we have seen in years past. Losing? As far as, no. Oh, coming up with those <laughs> that intensity of winning. I hope so. Yeah. I, I mean, okay. Let me put it to you this way: I saw good things last yeah. week. Mm-hmm. We lost in San Francisco. Right. By only three points. It's a West Coast game. Lions are terrible yep. in West Coast games. Lions are a bad mm-hmm. road team, usually. Right. Uh, last year was kind of an aberration, though. They, were, they right. were a little better on the road than they were at home. I think so, too. Yeah, last year was different. It we're was. used to being defending the den. Yeah. But, you well, know, once we started that, it was like. We started offending the den. <laughs> yeah. That's what we did. Right. But, no, we were 
we were good in that game. Mm-hmm. There were some good things and there oh, were yeah. some bad things. Right. So I don't want to go over it too much mm-hmm. because I think we overdid last week right. <laughs> on the uh, <laughs> You Suck Awards, right. <laughs> in there, which will come back. Mm-hmm. We will have a You Suck Award, you know. But <sighs> six sacks, very right. good. Run defense, very bad. Right. But not always. I mm-hmm. think – Part of the failure in this team is on the defensive side of the ball yeah. is the defensive tackles. Mm-hmm. They got to um, step it up. They got to step it up. Yep. They they are the main contributors to the run problem mm-hmm. that we're seeing right now, in my yeah. opinion. Also, we've said this before, but um, the offense needs to really start being less predict predictable. It sucks. Yeah, they need to, of course, as you have stated, run more. Uh, and okay, not, yeah, run just, the ball. I yeah. mean, okay, so this Change this week, up. 56 freaking right. passes and, what, 16 runs? That's not... Kidding me? Bags, I mean, carry on yeah. Bags Johnson, carry on my wayward son, carry on the tradition of losing Johnson. Yeah. He needs Five to, yards of carry. Yeah. He needs to get touches, though, in order to get bigger yards. Come on. What's going on, Cooter? Over four yards of carry for right. the Garrett Blunt. He runs somebody over. Yeah. What is going on? I agree yeah. with you. What is going on? What's this dink and dunk bull crap? Yeah. How and many times are you going to set up a bubble screen to Golden Tate? Right. Every freaking week, two to three times a game. Right. Same freaking play. Same over play with over. Theo Riddick over and over yeah. again. Theo Riddick out of linebacker over the middle. Yes, it's right. worked once, so let's use it every single time, five times a game. And what's that? Known as predictability. Yes, it is. Jets already told us the week before they knew exactly what we were going to do by how we were lining up. So right. what did we do? We go ahead and did the same thing last week? Come on, Jim Bob Cooter, get a brain, chain things up. Do something different, like throw, run the ball. Yeah, and also Here's throw down field more. Well, I mean, Don't yeah, we do throw down the field, up. but it's not... It's at weird times. Yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm watching this game back, and I'm seeing mm-hmm. all these screens and slants and all right. the things that are like five to ten yards down the field. And mm-hmm. usually it's a dump off to the running back. Right. Why not just run the ball? Right. You were running the ball effectively until you started getting penalties. Yep. You got a holding penalty three times in a row for 30 yards. It was like first and 30 or some right. crap. Thank you, Mr. Official, once again. Mm-hmm. But – we have to. We have spent all these resources. We traded right. away a pick. Yes, we did. To get Carry on Johnson, mm-hmm. we brought in Legarrette Blunt for one season. Right. Super Bowl champion two years in a row. Right. Let's not use them though. Yeah, let's just let them sit on the bench and. Amir Abdullah is inactive for right. two games. Yeah, what's going on there? I what? don't know what the heck they're thinking. How many running backs are we carrying? I think it's six, five, six. Well, that's because of right. the fullback. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I count that. Yeah. But I mean, seriously, mm-hmm. what the heck is wrong with these people? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Yep. So anyway, okay, so how to fix this team? Mm-hmm. It's not that hard. It well, really isn't as hard as it seems. <laughs> Number one, special teams. Kick the freaking ball in the end zone. Yeah, don't allow that run back. You can't stop stop. them you can't give the freaking offense of the other Mm -hmm. team the ball on the 30 yard line and expect the defense to come through right you can't fumble the ball on the 20 yard line and expect the defense to stop them every single time these guys are going to get tired yeah we need to run the ball yeah we do we We need to control the game Mm -hmm. we need to have our defense out there as least as possible yep yep because they're going to be most effective Mm -hmm. defensive tackles Get to the ball carrier. Right. Linebackers, stay in your gap. Mm -hmm. You have an assignment, do your job. Exactly. You know, there's things that you see that are just so plain and simple. Yep. Frank Ragnow, step it up, buddy. Yeah. You are rated like 17 by PFF in, in, in runnable. It was it pass protection. Right. Seven hurries and a sack. Dude, you didn't, were, didn't do this at all in college. And yeah. I realize it's a different game, but 
but man, you need to step it up. Yeah, you do. You're playing in the pros. You're being paid as a pro now. You got to step it up. You're he's a rookie, and yeah. I give him that. Right, I do. But we really need this offensive line to work. Yeah. But how many rookies come and perform? Well, from some day do, one? some don't. And yeah. Especially offensive line. Mm-hmm. It's a difficult thing to yeah. transition to. I get it. He's mm-hmm. actually transitioning from center to guard. He used to play guard, but he played mostly right. center. So I kind of get it, and I'll mm-hmm. give him a little bit of a break, but 17 out of yeah. 100, really? That mm-hmm. is really bad. That's the worst out of any rookie. Yeah. And locker room, get it together. Yes. Play as a team. Yes. doesn't matter what coach you were drafted under or brought in under free agency. Play together. Play as a Lions unit. Yeah. A co- yep. cohesive unit. And I, I'll tell you this. When we got Golden Tate, yep. I was really happy. Me I too. love Golden Tate. But in the last game. He needs to step it up. <sighs> alligator need, arms. Yeah. There's this one pass mm-hmm. over the middle where he saw the guy coming. And I, I can't tell you what he's thinking. I'm sorry if, if I'm trying to tell you if you're listening, right. Golden Tate. Seriously, I'm not trying to tell you what you were right. thinking. But what it looked like. What it looked like was you took the ball, had it in your hands, and dropped it so you so, wouldn't get hit. Right. I don't think that's the truth, but it did look like that. Right. Marvin Jones, a little bit injured, mm-hmm. nicked up. I understand that. Matthew right. Stafford, quit overthrowing people. Mm-hmm. You did that as a rookie. You were t- yeah. so inaccurate as a rookie, and you've come so far, and now all of a sudden you're regressing a little bit because there's no pass protection right. whatsoever. True. Stafford's getting, you know. Knocked on his butt. Quite a bit. Too much. Too much. So there's that. Yeah. And – why does it take a player to go ahead and get ejected from the game before the offense starts to produce? Golden and Tate, after that yeah. ejection, yep. but that you went ahead players and, together. Yeah. yeah. But you went ahead and really showed what you're capable of. That's what we want to see t- uh, play in and play out. And we want to see theoretic. that capability. Theoretic drop yeah. and passes. Come on. But Don't. it's the same yeah. play. Right. That's, that was my complaint mm-hmm. before. Okay, so offense, you suck. Right. You absolutely suck, and it's not your fault. It's not your fault. No. Marvin Jones, heck of a player. Kenny mm-hmm. Galladay, going to be oh, a yeah. great player. In my opinion, what will be the number one yeah. receiver in this team in a few years? Right. And really, so far, this year he has been. Yeah, he's been you know, really As far good. as from the, from the two games yep. that we have seen, he's the one that produced – in both games. Yep. So I mean, I I know you picked him as your your uh, standout player of the year. Yep. And so far he's doing it. Yeah. And you had Carry on Johnson. Yeah. Good job. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Just but yeah, he he, but he is. The, I mean, he's five yards. He, he has, has five yards to yards carry last or week. The touches. Right. Yeah. He had five yards to carry. And I mm-hmm. told you in the preseason. Yeah. What did I say? He, I think it was somebody was telling mm-hmm. me he was going to be rookie of the year. And I yeah, said, I, no way in hell is that mm-hmm. going to happen. And here's why. They're not going to give him the touches, like right. I already said, because they have right. Garrett Blunt and other running backs. You they're going to pass the ball more, mm-hmm. and they're not going to be out there as, as, as long if they're passing the right. ball more deeper and all that stuff. I already broke that all right. down before we started the season, and look what's going yeah. on. But, but you also did think that like Amir would be active I did. more, more I don't know that. why he's not. Right. Unless a, unless um, why do you Patricia, run the ball only sixteen times? Right, mysteries of the universe. <laughs> I, I honestly not, don't definitely get this not often. masters of the NFL. No, I said mysteries. I know, mysteries. But I I know I know what you said, but I'm just saying that that this year we have not seen masters of the NFL. We How do you? Seen, I just don't. It, it just boggles my right. mind. How do you get establish a run game with sixteen carries you for don't. the entire game? You don't. How do you get anybody in rhythm with only four or five carries a game? You right. can't. And so some of this I saw yeah. coming mm-hmm. because the defense was going to be on the field for a long time. Yeah. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. It's not as bad as I thought. The defense actually, I see this scheme yeah. working. I think the scheme works. I don't oh, yeah. know if we have the players to execute it, but right. it works. Yeah. It works. We've seen the safeties two weeks in a row getting a, getting a pick. Uh, pick. Right. One pick six, one could have been maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't think it would have been, but, you know, penalty flag once again. Yeah. 
Actually, there was two penalties caught on that play. Jesus. Uh, both black and backs. Uh, yeah, black yeah. and back, whatever it was. It was mm-hmm. Something stupid holding. Yep. What, no, it's holding on Quandre Diggs. Right. Was what it was. But that's not the issue yeah. with this team. Mm-hmm. You're putting your defense right. in a position to fail, and then you're blaming the defense. Mm-hmm. Right. Defense, I feel sorry for you because you're getting all this abuse out there. Yeah. Some of it is deserved. The run defense is not very good sometimes. Right. But you can see where the defensive tackles, when they don't make a play, mm-hmm. it's a 66-yard run. Right. Other than that, he's not getting that many yards. Right. You know, they're, they're stuffing him. Yep. You know, and our plays where they're negative mm-hmm. yardage plays. Right. And there's and we, sacks. There's good things going on yep. out there. And, and we have seen it, you know, like that fumble last week. Yep. Uh, the defense stopped them and held them to a three points. Yep. And it wasn't because the defense let you know, let the offense get yards. It was just that where the fumble happened. Right. Right. And this week we have gotten into the um the New England game mm-hmm. and the, and what we've seen over the right. past couple of weeks before we did something we usually do, which is player of the week. I don't want to forget that this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did last week, but this week we have player of the week. Right. And our player of the week this week is Tim who? Quande Diggs. Quandre Diggs. He's our player of the yep. week. He is five foot nine, 200 pounds, strong safety. He's 25 years old. That's wow. really good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, right in the prime yep. of his career. Mm-hmm. And, uh, He's playing good football. Yeah, got a pick is. six the first game. Mm-hmm. Uh, got that holding call, though. But, I right. mean, he was more of a corner than a mm-hmm. safety. They transitioned him to safety. I think he's going to do a good job there. Right. I'm going to tell you this right now before okay. before most people do. Tracy Walker, watch okay. out. That dude's going to be good. All right. He's going to be good. All right. And why do you think that, Jim? Uh, he's fast. He has All instincts. Right. Um, there's something about him. There's mm-hmm. something about his ball hawking skills. Right. I think that he's going to be very, very good, uh, interception wise, right. coverage wise, even tackling mm-hmm. wise. All right, cool. I think he's going to be good. So he's mm-hmm. a guy to watch out for in the next yep. few weeks. I think he may start by the end right. of the year. Wow. I know that sounds crazy, but just watch. Mm-hmm. Okay, Quandre Diggs. He attended. Angleton High School, where he played on, on their football team. He played cornerback for the most part and safety, but he occasionally played quarterback, wow. <laughs> which is something you may not have known. <laughs> Maybe he was he considered could... a four-star recruit by ESPN.com. Mm-hmm. Diggs was listed as a top-rated cornerback in the nation. Wow. In the class of 2011. Wow. So, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's just something. <laughs> cool. I mean, we do pick mm-hmm. decent enough players sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes not. You know, sometimes we do. Diggs played college at Texas from 2011 to 2014. Played in 52 career games. He started 49 of those. Wow. He was named the Big Ten Conference Defensive Freshman of the Year. Say that fast. In 2011. No, don't try it. It didn't work. In 2011. Yep. And he was named second all-team in the Big 12. The other was Big 12 Conference, too, in 2011. And was named to Big 12 Honorable Mention wow. in 2013. So that's cool. It yeah, shows he, that he's yeah, really... He, he was he was very well mm-hmm. thought of. Yep. Um, he but, brought it. He yep. brought it in yep. college and high school. He brought it. Yeah, played in the Senior Bowl. Mm-hmm. And he got four solo tackles in the 2015 yep. Senior Bowl. Uh, you know, not a bad guy. Right. And he got an interception mm-hmm. in that game. Which they won thirty four to thirteen. Wow! So, Quandre Diggs this week, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you just signed him to a three year extension, right? Um, like I said, got the pick mm-hmm. six last week. Think he's going to be pretty darn good. I think so too. Won the nickel job almost. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's second year, first right at, at end of the first year. Mm-hmm. But I think he's a six round pick, if I'm not mistaken. He's a six round pick for the Lions, right? Yeah, I think you're right, and. Doing very well. Yeah. So some of our drafting is good. Some mm-hmm. of it is bad. Brings me to another point. Matt Patricia. Yep. Bob Quinn. They're oh. under fire recently. Oh, yeah. In, an, in a poll. And this is the last time mm-hmm. I checked it. I didn't see the end results for Pride of Detroit. Yeah. It was 27% was his approval rating. <laughs> <laughs> That's not It went down from 80-some to, seven, to 70, 70 or 80-some percent. 
to like 20. So <laughs> but of course, <laughs> of course, we all had high expectations. Yeah, that they got quickly crushed. Right? <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> once once the season opened up, man, we were like, what the yeah, The heck? floodgates also yeah. opened up. You know, I'm going to uh, – mm-hmm. got to get to the New England game. Yeah. Coming up. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady's upset. Yeah. They're not executing well in practice. They lost last week really yeah. bad to a pretty good Jacksonville mm-hmm. team. They have a really good defense in Jacksonville. Yeah. Uh, Plus they know Patricia. But Patricia yeah. knows, knows them. them. Yeah. So, True. I mean, is that a wash? Or is Belichick yeah. ten times smarter than Patricia? <laughs> But we will we find out this <laughs> week. We, yeah, we will. and they also have some key defensive players. They do. Chung too. is out. They yeah. got a couple other guys out, and we've played teams before yeah. with people out and still uh, lost, right. like the Jets. The Jets. Yeah, I yeah. know. I was Three of their offensive up. linemen were out, and we still <laughs> yeah. got crushed. Uh, that game was just a comedy of errors to me. Right. Though. Yeah. It, it was like nobody just, was ready was like to a, play. It, it was, was like, like a landslide yeah. of things that went wrong in that game. But San Francisco, I thought we right. got better. Matt Patricia came out and said it. In the yeah. preseason, we're going to evaluate in September. We'll get better right. every game. We'll, you know, evalu- we'll start, you know, in October. I right. really believe, I thought he said in October that mm-hmm. he's going to start changing things and all this and getting better and getting better. And November, by November, they would be real better. I, I don't know why he said that in preseason. And wasn't Rob, Rob Wood said that too? Rod Wood said the right. same thing. Yeah. So... This was not unexpected by this person here. Right. <laughs> but yeah, we, <laughs> that's true. Uh, but the Lions fan, the fan base is so hungry for victory. Yes. For good. Yes. We've been beaten up so many years. Yes, we have. Yeah. You know, we just. We are not the lovable yeah. losers anymore, though. Right. I don't think that. I don't. Either. But it brings me to a point where, with Quinn and Patricia. Yeah. The Lions have been hurt over the last, I don't know how many years, because right. they don't have an identity. Mm-hmm. They don't. No. They have players at Barry Sanders. Right. Their identity was Barry Sanders. Right. Calvin Johnson. Their mm-hmm. identity is Calvin Johnson. Now it's yeah. Matthew Stafford. And you'll see that because you see the uh, the TV, you know, right. like Fox and stuff will say, oh, it's Matthew Stafford led and the Calvin Johnson led and the Barry Sanders led. Right. But what do they call it? The Bears, the Monsters of the Midway. Mm-hmm. The defense is their calling card. Yes, it, and true. we know that. And they went back to that, and mm-hmm. it's successful for them. Yeah, we're going out and getting Khalil Mack, which disappointed a lot of Lions fans. Yeah, I think we need to give Quinn and Patricia the full five years. And you're hearing it here, right. where everybody else is calling for their head. My only change is Jim Bob Cooter. Yeah. I would change him out. He was Caldwell guy. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Stafford loves him. I'm sorry. Stafford, you're paid way too much money. I, I like you. I really do. Yeah. I think you got the heart of a champion. Mm-hmm. I do. But you got to give this guy up. He yeah. sucks. He's just absolutely he's horrible not, as an offensive coordinator. Yeah, he's not what what's going to get us to the next level. And Patricia needs to get yeah. a very good offensive coordinator. Yeah. And maybe that happens in season. Mm-hmm. Maybe it happens after the season's right. over. I don't know. But it has to change. Yeah, we got too much I talent agree. for shooting ourselves yeah. in the foot every week. I totally agree, Jim. Because it's what we got when when the Jets know exactly what we're going to do by the way we lines up, by the personnel we put in. Hell, we know what they're yeah. going to do right. by how they line up. So yep. we talked about the Golden Tate bubble screen mm-hmm. and the deep to Marvin Jones. And yeah. It's it's all the same things every single week. Yeah. Some of it works. And what do you think the Patriots are going to do? <laughs> I mean, they're right. no, they know yeah. exactly what we're right. going to do by with the personnel out there. Mm-hmm. Just like, okay, Theo Riddick, when he comes out there, what do you think is going to happen? Dumb Come on, it, really? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's four. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slant. Right. He's going to go against a linebacker. Mm-hmm. Win that battle, catch the ball, get tackled immediately. Yeah, for four yards, because that play broke a twenty-yard touchdown run one time, and it was successful before. Let's run it every single game, four or five times a game, and see if it works every single time. <laughs> no brainer, it's not going to work. Not because when people see film. Right. 
and see that guy out there and say, oh, guess what's going to happen? Yep. We know because we've watched this over and over right. again. So if you have Theo Riddick in there and you're going to use him like that, would you please put him in the slot and then put on Johnson or somebody else in the backfield and just hand the ball off on a draw? Right. And confuse mm-hmm. somebody every once in a while? Exactly. And he's out there on third yep. down. What do you think they're going to do? <laughs> they know. Right. Golden yep. Tate, wide out. Mm-hmm. Golden Tate's a slot receiver. Yep. But when he's the wide out, what do you think is going to happen? Right. If I can see mm-hmm. this, so can everyone else. Yep. Golden they, Tate is the slot receiver. Mm-hmm. When he lines up as the the X route or the mm-hmm. go route, the X receiver, yep. what do you think's going to happen? Bubble screen to Golden yep. Tate. Everybody mm-hmm. knows it. Yep. Everybody. Everybody. Yep. Yep. I don't understand how people don't see this, mm-hmm. but that's okay. That's what we're here for. <laughs> we're here to break down this team, tell yep. you what's going on, and help you get through another week, Lions fans, because yep. some of this really sucks. Yep. But I do see good. I do mm-hmm. see a light at the end of the tunnel, and it's not a train this time. <laughs> I, I do. Yep. But five years, give these guys some time. Mm-hmm. Bob Quinn, has he ever been a general manager before? Nope. No. No. Do I think he's doing a good job? Mm, I don't know. Right. I don't. Some he's hit on, mm-hmm. some he's missed on. But he's new. Matt Patricia, right. new head coach. Yep. First year head coach. Yep. Give the guy a chance yep. to learn his job. Mm-hmm. Give Quinn a chance to learn his job. Right. I know we had Matt Millen, and I know we've had bonehead people in the front office, and I know right. we've had Pound the Rock right. and all this crap with Rod Marinelli. Mm-hmm. I get it. I know, but yep. I don't think these guys are losers. No. I really don't. We have to form an identity. Yes, we do. And it can't be the Patriots' identity. It needs to be our identity. It does need to be our identity, but I don't I don't necessarily think it's the Patriot way or whatever, but right. it does have to be something. I agree mm-hmm. with you. I do. I really wish that they would have went a different route and brought in somebody that would bring the Lions away, whatever right. that is. Because mm-hmm. we don't even have that. Right. But I would have liked to have seen that. Mm-hmm. But we lack identity as yeah. a team. Right. Something the Lions have, have not had. And they change schemes all the time. They do. Which means you have lame duck players mm-hmm. that you drafted that are no good to you anymore. Yeah. People you picked up in free agency that are no good to you anymore. Right. Stick with something. Yeah. Stick with one thing for a while. Build it you're for right. a while and see where you're at. Mm-hmm. Let's make this better instead of throwing it away and starting over again right. like we always do. True. Now, 2014, we have an mm-hmm. excellent defense. We have Jim yeah. Schwartz here. Things are not going great. Right. Okay, I got it. Yeah. He's a first-year head coach. Mm-hmm. He's a, he was a first-time head coach. Yep. Okay, I got it. Maybe right. he wasn't the most brilliant head coach, but our defense was really yeah. good. We brought in good players. Mm-hmm. What screwed us was the salary cap. Yep. Salary cap and also the... And not having the rookie salary cap for those players, like right. Adamic and Sue, Matthew mm-hmm. Stafford, and then Calvin Johnson. Yep. Those three players took up most right. of the money on the team. And then, of course, the uh, ref they keyed on... Sue. Sue. Yeah. Yep. And also threw penalty flag after penalty flag to really help keep us down. I agree. Yeah. I totally agree. Yep. But but we made the we playoffs. Had, we almost had yeah. a defensive identity. Mm-hmm. Almost. During those years. Yeah. And that was the closest I think we got right. to breaking out of this whole thing. Mm-hmm. And then we tore it down again. Yep. We hired Caldwell, who wasn't even the first choice. Right. Wizenhunt Hunt was. Mm-hmm. We send a plane to San Diego, got egg all over our face because right. he doesn't get on it. Yep. Then we pick Caldwell, who comes in and does a hell of a job. Right. Nine and Nine seven. Nine and seven, two years, you know, makes mm-hmm. the playoffs. Should have made the playoffs last year on a bad call. Right. But now we change yeah. it again. But uh, I think as Lions, though, as Lions fans, we do need to realize those bad calls are not going to go away. So we just... The Lions, as a team, need to play better so that they can overcome a lot of those bad calls. It's not they the bad calls that are killing yeah. us. It's the play between the bad calls. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They need yeah. to play better so that they don't. Yeah, you got to stop shooting yeah. yourself in the foot. Right. It's not like Quandre Diggs didn't hold the guy. Right. He did. Mm-hmm. It's just a question of 
why is it called on one team and not the other right. is mostly what we're upset like about. Like Marvin Jones was held. Marvin Jones was held on that deep pass. Yep. And that probably – see, they said, well, Stafford overthrew him. No. Stafford Look. threw the ball where he's mm-hmm. supposed to throw it. Marvin right. Jones wasn't at the spot because he was held. held. Yep. It's just the way it is. But and we know the refs are not going to see everything. No, but and I'm not seems, blaming the refs yeah. for this whole thing. Right. What I am blaming right now mm-hmm. is us. Yeah. We don't have an identity, and we right. need one. Mm-hmm. We do. Yeah. You know? I think that's where we lack. I think it's where we've lacked for years. Right. I think we're not patient enough as a fan base because right. we've tried to be patient since 1957. Mm-hmm. Right. And I understand. Yeah. I really do. I want to see a championship in my lifetime mm-hmm. really, really bad. And it's right. not looking good. Right. Well, heck, the owner couldn't even see. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, William, William Clay, Clay Ford, Ford didn't get the, one. The curse outlived him. Yes. It did. Whatever this curse is, if yep. it's a curse, whatever it is. And I know, fans, I can tell you how frustrated you yeah. are because I'm just as frustrated mm-hmm. as you. But yeah. we but, have to give these people some yeah. time. I think we do. And right. it may not be this year. We wanted it to be this year. Why? Because the Lions came out and said 9-7 and seven wasn't right. good enough. Yep. So they so bring we, in all these guys so we can go 3-13 and 13 mm-hmm. or whatever. I'm not saying we're going three and thirteen. It just looks really bad right yeah, now. Yeah, it does. Okay, it's not what we expected. Of course, it's not what right. we expected. But I'm telling you, you can't just keep throwing guys out every year, or you're right. going to have the same problems. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you're going to have the wrong fit for the wrong right. team, or the wrong defense, or the wrong fit for the offense because now we got a different thing or whatever. I keep saying this. The only thing that I'm going to say is there is a time where you have to let go. Right. And I think Jim Bob Cooter, we need to let yeah, go. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Jim, because it's... Is it competency with Patricia and Quinn, or is it inexperience? I don't know that yet. Right. I don't know that yet. But I hate to say this. It doesn't seem like Patricia is particularly rattled by it. It doesn't. He's He still he's seems different. confident. Yeah. He looks on the sidelines pissed off, and so mm-hmm. would I. Yeah. But when you hear him, he is still fairly confident yeah. about this team. So I have to be confident as well. Mm-hmm. I'm not all sunshine and rainbows, no. as everyone knows this. Right. I'm a realist. Mm-hmm. Tim is pie in the sky. But, <laughs> and I, I'm just well, calling I, it the way I see it. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. <laughs> I do not believe if all the fans believe that we're going to win, we're going to win. It takes no, talent. I, I don't believe but that. But you said you did. No, I believe for the hundredth time, I believe in order you don't have to, to change, believe it once. in order to change a culture, <laughs> you need to change everything. And if we're always going to believe and accept that we're going to be losers, and if we're always going to preconceive that we're going to lose these games and never get better, then we're never going to get better. I don't believe that you're just going to go ahead and believe, oh, yeah, we're going to beat, we're going to beat this team, we're going to beat that team. I, I don't believe that, and I never preach that. But I do believe in order to uh, improve yourself, you need to concentrate on your strengths, not your downfalls. But saying that, in the preseason – before the preseason, right. we were both drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah. We both thought this team was going to be pretty mm-hmm. good. So we both believed they could be right. really good this year. And guess what? It got us nowhere. We got crushed by the Jets. Right. And the Jets suck, Right. by the way. Then we get beat by San Francisco, which I kind of thought would happen. Now, this is not going to happen overnight. No, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. But oh, I don't no, think belief can't. has anything to do with it. I think talent has a lot to do with it. Right. But if you go ahead and you believe and you use that to get the talent. How do we get the talent as fans? We don't get the talent as fans. Right. Then if we they believe got, it or we they don't. Gotta, they got to do the front office does. the. But if we go ahead and we continue, can continuously believe that we're going to be the same old lines year after year. 
And I, we're I don't never think going we're going to get to no, that I don't point. Think that, that's not what I said. To that I never point. said that. I never said I believe we're going to be the same alliance every year. But I believe I look at the talent and I look at what we're doing and I'm like, uh, this may not be our year. But how many times have you said, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Over and over and over. And how many and times was I right? Every single time. Well, not every time. Yeah. When did we go to the Super Bowl in all those years? I ain't talking when about. When did we win a it's Super not Bowl? Not always in all those years. getting to the Super Bowl. When did we win one playoff the, game? But we have gotten to the playoffs. Yeah, and lost. But, yeah. Big time lost. Not even close lost. Right. That's my point. I'm saying that even in the Wayne Fonts days, way back then, mm -hmm. we fired that coach because he just got to the playoffs every year and lost. Except for the one Except game. Except for the one year. The, the one year when they, they went ahead and did. Um, and also Tim Reardon does agree with me on this too, that the run and shoot was the way to go. I'm not saying because we don't have the same players as we had, had back then, but to go ahead and to get the – the system that got you to the one game before the Super Bowl. Right. Then to go ahead and throw it away the very next year, that was dumb as hell. Well, you speak to my point. Yeah. Of, of right now. Because right. are we going to throw these guys out after a year because we don't think that they're doing a good job? I'm not right saying now? we should. Yeah, I agree. Right. But I'm just I'm saying that's my point right. exactly. And what you're saying is because we changed, but we changed coaches. Right. We we went to what, Bobby Ross, which I yeah. think was the worst move right. we could have made. I think that was I one agree. of the worst decisions ever, mm -hmm. or one of them. Matt Millen's probably the worst right. decision ever. Yeah, I, I think so too. Yeah, Matt but, Millen. But Matt Millen thought that basically you only change your change your what? change your uh, attitude, and then you change. But you had to change your players and. Draft more than just the darn wide receiver. I agree. Uh, unfortunately, there was too many wide receivers. All right, Jim. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're running out of show. I want to give you this message really quick about uh, PFF. Hello, Lions fans. Do you play fantasy football? Do you want to dominate your league? Then subscribe to Pro Football Focus Edge or Elite Memberships. PFF has you covered with all the fantasy stats, scouting analysis, roster tools, and rankings you'll ever need. The PFF Edge membership includes access to all premium editorial content, fantasy rankings, season-long fantasy tools, PFF player grades data, and NFL draft coverage all year long. Elite members get everything in the PFF Edge package, plus premium stats, DFS Optimizer, player grades by game, and player pre-snap position counts. Sign up for the PFF Edge subscription for only $39.99 a year or $9.99 a month. Or upgrade to the PFF Elite subscriptions to dominate your league for $199 a year or $34.99 a month. Go to the Lions on the Prowl website at lionsonthepral.com and click on the PFF banner on the right-hand side of the page to sign up. This helps the show. Remember, sign up today, dominate tomorrow. All right, everybody, thank you for listening to that for us. It does help the show. Tim, prediction for the New England game. Okay, uh, I'm going to say 21 to 17 Lions. I'm going with the Lions of this one, too, which I, I know I'm going to regret. 35-30 Lions. Wow. Um. I think that Tom Brady does go off a bit, mm -hmm. but I think the defense holds him enough, and I think the offense does break out a little right. bit. I think a defensive touchdown tonight, mm -hmm. too. I do. Yeah. I think it's either a fumble, recovery, interception for mm -hmm. a touchdown. Uh, we've been pretty good at that at the last couple of weeks, so I think it's a victory for the Lions tonight. Yeah. And one reason why, no one expects us to win. And right. when no one expects the Lions to win, they do. Right. I don't know why, but they do. Yeah. They seem to play up to the competition and down to the competition, mm -hmm. whichever level that is. Yeah. If the other team is really sucks, so do we. And that's why I predicted them to win last week. Yeah, that yeah. was close, though. Right. I mean, I understand. I, we almost had mm -hmm. that game. If Tracy Walker picks that off, we have yeah. that game. If that call doesn't go against right. us, you know, we have that game. But yeah. if the if the offense would even play, we right. have that game. But anyway. 
We really appreciate you listening this week. I'm Jim. And I'm Maniac Tim. And we're signing off. Have a great week.